TikToker Eric Dodds has been given a life sentence without the possibility of parole and an additional five years for, for possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. His partner, John T. Collier, received life with the possibility of parole and then an additional five years as well. Both men were sentenced on Friday, June 23rd after being found guilty in Walker County, Georgia for the felony murder of Dakota Bradshaw. Here's a news clip of information in the case. Authorities say Eric Dodds and John T. Collier and two other people took part in Dakota Bradshaw's murder late last year. The two men were well known on social media when it happened, and deputies were able to arrest Dodds or after he fought for Collier's innocence in a TikTok post. Dakota Bradshaw was gunned down in our community in a senseless act of violence. This case stretched into three states. We had three defendants in, in two different states, and the murder happened here in Georgia. Last week, a jury found the two guilty of felony murder and several other counts in the murder of Dakota Bradshaw. Looking at a, a sentence of minimum sentence of life with the possibility of parole uh, plus five years, and then um, the maximum sentence would be life without the possibility of parole. The GBI says while investigating the case, they wrote over 70 search warrants searched endless social media accounts, searched and collected phone data to track the defendants from Huntsville to Chattanooga to where the murder occurred. To Dakota's family, that we know that this verdict does not bring Dakota back, but justice for Dakota was done, and we hope this brings some measure of peace to the family. Two other suspects were involved and initially charged with felony murder in the Dakota Bradshaw case. On May 30th, it was announced that Deja Larissa Collins pled guilty, while the case against Darius Woods, the brother of Eric Dodds, is still pending. Now, some have questioned why Eric received a harsher sentence. While Eric and Jante were not found guilty of malicious murder, they were found guilty of felony murder. Eric was the defendant accused of actually firing the lethal shot that struck and killed Dakota Bradshaw. In Georgia, defendants given a life sentence will not be considered in most cases for parole until they have served 30 years, even if they are eligible for parole. A number of you have asked some really great questions in the comments, and I want to answer them now for you. JT from the Bay Area wanted to know, why did they just call the police? Well, Deja was involved in this case because she was asked to drive John T and Eric to, to Georgia. Now that could imply that they may not have been able to drive due to a suspended license or some other issue with law enforcement. Now to me, that would cause them to not want to involve law enforcement with this issue and it would explain how going to retrieve the vehicle, uh, the stolen vehicle for them was in their minds the only option to get the car back. Now, Guzzle123 wants to know about motive, as does ATF Natarian. Now, why did they shoot him? Well, according to one of the people that I interviewed, the car was stolen by a connection of Darius Woods, who is allegedly very involved in gang activity. Um, it was told to me that the car was stolen to transport illegal substances to the victim and his friend. The story shared with me was that when John Tay and Deja were trying to recover the stolen car, Eric was covering for them. When he saw someone at a window, he fired the weapon hitting Dakota Bradshaw. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe he fired the weapon thinking he would be fired on first or that he had been fired on. Maybe he thought Dakota was the connection of his brother. Uh, maybe he didn't know it was Dakota. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the case, I have two other videos that break this down. One that breaks down the case of the prosecution that was presented before the courts that actually won and levied them the guilty verdict, but also one from the side of the defense. You can check them both out on my YouTube page. If you do not follow, please do so. Subscribe, like, and comment.